Are you in need of some drill storage? Well then, you're in luck, because today, that's what we're building. I'm calling it a drill storage unit. It's pretty basic, took a couple hours of my time, and uh, not even a half a sheet of plywood. So if you're tired of your bench looking like this, and you want it to look more like this, then stick around, because today we're going to be building the drill storage unit. So you can see that I've got a 24 by 48 sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood and the first thing that I'm going to do is just rip down the two sides to their proper height and also depth and uh, just make sure that they match and that's the critical part of those two. Uh, next thing I'm going to do here is just uh, cut the back to its size. Now I put the back as optional because not everybody wants to have that. They, you get a little extra space out of it if you don't have that. But for me I needed to mount it to the back wall so it made sense. And then once you've got uh, those dimensions right, uh, you can, all I did here is just marked in three and a half inches off the top and then just cut both of the sides at a 45 degree angle. And it's just to allow a little bit of extra room uh, for the shelf. And you can see here I've marked uh, the two shelf locations on one of the sides. And so here we'll go ahead and just uh, cut the two shelves to their proper uh, width as well. And once we've got those to the proper width, the next thing that we need to cut is the uh, drill supports for the lower part of the uh, drill unit. And so we need two of those. This is where that micro jig comes in so handy. I absolutely love it in situations like this. The grip that it has uh, for running through pieces like that is fantastic. So now we're going to just drill the holes uh, for the shelves and you can see that I'm drilling them just uh, in those lines that I created earlier and just do it on both sides. This, this is actually the outside of the unit uh, because it's not going to be visible uh, the and also because it's not the unit. So now the view isn't great here but uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually just now putting those screws into the shelves and, and so I put glue on and uh, I'll screw them in and they'll be very strong uh, of course I am only putting three drills into this unit as well as just some screws and some of my Craig uh, jig accessories as well but mainly it's for just holding the three drills and getting them off of my workspace so now you can see I have the lower shelf attached and I'm just drilling the holes for the supports for the drill and what I'm using is just that scrap piece that I cut off and, and it actually worked out perfectly for me but you'll have to figure out how big your drills are and how much space you need for each one of them and so for the actual drill storage area down on the bottom of the unit we are going to be making three sections so what that means is you need two center units as well as two side pieces and that's actually what I'm doing right there is these side pieces and you can see they're just uh, uh, just a small piece and uh, you'll see in a minute what that's for so just lay out the middle find the middle of the of the support you can see right there what one of the center sections looks like now just just a spacer as well as a, a strut down below and uh, put a little bit of glue on there. You can see I'm using my glue bot. I love that thing. And um, we're just going to put some nails in here using the Ryobi Airstrike. And put a few nails in. And then I'm actually going to put some screws in for uh, overall support. And then we'll do that twice uh, for the center sections. And then we're going to um, do the side sections right after that. Here you can see I'm starting to line up the side pieces for the 
uh, supports down below. And all they are is just that piece of three quarter by three quarter and just lined up with the bottom of the drill storage unit. And I'll do that on both sides. Glued and nailed mine, but you can put screws in there if you think that's going to be more appropriate for you. Now it's time to put those two center pieces on uh, down below. And you can see that I have already pre-drilled for the screw holes. And now I'm just lining up one uh, to my marks and I'm just going to clamp it and then uh, get it all in the right position and then I'll be able to uh, nail it and then screw through those screw holes and uh, it'll be very secure. Had that section in I just figured I better give it a quick test just to make sure that it was going to fit okay. Once I knew that it was okay I knew that I could go ahead and put in that other centerpiece. And so just follow that same procedure just glue it onto the bottom clamp it up put your three screws in and it'll be good to go. All that's left to do is to put on the top shelf and again that's just screwed through those side holes and this is what your finished product should look like something similar to that at least so that is the drill storage unit so thank you so much for following along for this short video on the drill storage unit if you liked the video please subscribe to me on YouTube Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, etc., etc. Like and share and do all those great things that this community does all the time. Thank you and have a great day.